Hey, welcome back to this F Modern Wise comparison video series. Today, we will be going through how to integrate Wise with Unreal and get the two pieces of software talking to each other. First thing you need to do is just go to the Audio Kinetic website. And then here you can see you can download Wise top right. And there are various other resources on this page. We'll just have a quick look at pricing whilst we're here. You'll see there is a Starter Pro Premium and Enterprise pricing structure. In this case, obviously, we'll be going for the Starter license, which is for a project with a small budget and will give you the ability to implement up to 500 sounds. Pro gives you unlimited sounds, Premium gives you support, and Enterprise gives you some other goodies. We're doing a non-commercial project for this, so click this link and come down to this page, and you can sign up with Wise in order to get a free license, and you can release your game if you're not making money from it. There's a full price chart here. In here, you've got various details, including licensing stuff. So here are the core licenses. You can have a look through that. And if you scroll down, there's also a royalty-based license system where they take 1% from the gross profit from the actual game, which is a pretty good option. It's a pretty fail-safe option if you want to license it. They stand to make a lot of money or, or not a lot. So go top right and hit the download page. This will prompt you to download the Wise Launcher. This makes things a lot more streamlined than it was before because you used to have to download individual files for your particular system. Now the launcher does everything for you. So when you click this link, it'll automatically download to your system, and then you can load up the launcher and take it from there. Here it is. You can do everything from this single app. Have a look at the Wise tab, and it will automatically go to the latest version for you to install for your particular system. But if you need to, you can also download older versions should you need to test some things. So as you can see, I've already installed it. The next step would be integration. Go to the Unreal Engine tab. You'll also see Unity there, but we're not doing Unity today. On the Unreal tab, you'll see all of your Unreal projects. You can see I've already installed it on the project we're working on today, but I'll install it very quickly on something else just to show you the process. So when you get to this page, you can choose your Wise Unreal integration version, and you can choose where to save Wise and the project path. I usually just let it do, do it automatically, so just don't put anything in there, and then you would hit integrate. But I won't do that today, so let's just hit cancel. So this is the project, and I've already integrated Wise with it. So the next step would be opening up Wise. Use the launcher to open it up, and you're greeted with this empty project page. This looks less like a door than other pieces of middleware. The top left section is basically your folder hierarchy within the project and within your game project. Here you can access all of your events and sounds and everything. So the first thing we're going to do is just check that this is integrated properly and drag a sound in. We'll go just for a single footstep. So drag it over, and you want to drag it to the default work unit. Drag it in, and as a sound effect, hit Import, and that will import our sound into Wise. You can also right-click and import audio files if you prefer to do it that way. I find it easier to drag and drop. So click on our sound, and you can check that it plays. There you go. You see the meter on the right-hand side. Now we need to set up a sound bank for this to play through. Click on Sound Bank and hit the default work unit, then hit New Sound Bank. And we're going to call this Master. Now we need an event to actually play and trigger our sound. Go to the Events tab and click New Event. And we'll just, I mean, it's just a test footstep, so we'll just, we used Foot Test. Now, click on the event, and on the right hand side, you can see what sounds are in there. Go to this audio tab and drag our sound into the event. And here you'll see that it's in there. Check that it plays. And over here, you've got all of the usual settings that you can adjust, pitch and volume, etc. Play the sound, check that it plays. On the bottom left, you've got the events viewer. So every event that you've created will appear in the events viewer. You can move this layout about if you prefer it in another way. Let's click over to sound bank and check that our event is actually associated with our sound bank. Here you have your sound banks, the platform, and the languages. Now let's drag our event into this sound bank. Here's our event down here. Simply drag and drop, and now that's associated with the sound bank. So now we have our sound being triggered by the event and associated with the sound bank. Let's generate the sound bank, and that will push everything over into Unreal for us to use and implement. So let's double check that. Let's move straight over to Unreal. Launch Unreal from the launcher. takes a little second. And you can double check that Wise is integrated with Unreal just by checking the project settings in Edit. And if you scroll down, there it is. We have a Wise plugin option. So that's proof that it's in, it is integrated properly. So close that down. 
Now we need to load up the events that we've created in Wise. So you'll also see a folder here called Wise Audio. That's automatically been put in by Wise, which is, again, proof that it's integrated properly. So we're going to create the event inside this Wise Audio folder. We'll create a folder called Events. And in here, you can either right click and go to Audio Kinetic and add events or sound banks directly from the menu. Or I prefer to go to Window and go to Wise Picker. In here, you've got the whole folder system that you saw in the Project Explorer in Wise. And we'll go to our events, and there is our foot test event. Drag and drop, and now it's in our project. It's not associated with the sound bank, however. So if you double click, and we're going to make an audio kinetic bank, and we'll just name it the same as we named it in Wise. We'll call it master. Save, and save, and close this down. And now we need to generate the actual sound bank. But in fact, if I just show you that this event won't play anything just yet, so nothing. If we generate the sound banks, you see master, the sound bank that we created, hit generate. And now let's play. And we have sound. So that's worked. Now we have the sound coming over from Wise into our Unreal project. So that is integration. I've whizzed through that incredibly quickly, so I hope that made some sense. In the next video, we're going to look at how to implement dynamic footsteps within Wise and get them working within Unreal. You can either jump straight over to that video, or you can go over to the FMOD integration process and see how that compares.